Hi, this is Jack Pluckett. Today we're going to talk about how to use Pluckett Research Online. I'm going to show you the great features of Pluckett Research Online, which we sometimes call PRO or PRO, and dive into some really deep uses that you'll love. Notice on the home page, the two main things that most people will want to do can be accomplished by using just either one of these two icons, research company or research and industry. Most people can go there and get all of their tasks done. It's really simple. Now on the home page, we do have a drop down box, which is a shortcut. If you know what industry you want to see and you're something of a power user, you can just click here to select insurance or healthcare or e-commerce. Otherwise, let's do the search a standard way by clicking here. Here's that drop down box again if you want it. But I can also look for an industry by keyword, by NAIC code, or I can search by general topic. Here we've looked for industry code 325 and we're taking you to everything that's important or relevant on the system. Like down here at 32521, thermoplastics and resins, you're going to find the relevant results where you can go straight to the information you need. Now let's look up here, petrochemical manufacturing, obviously part of the chemicals industry, but we're showing you, you may also find it in the energy and utilities industry. Basic chemicals here, you're going to find only in chemicals. Now, each industry research center is laid out in the same way. Notice at the top, it gives you some ideas about other research centers that you might want to look into because they're related to this topic. Everything in our system is date stamped. So here it's going to tell you when we last updated the information in this industry. And just to let you know the way our editorial system works, everything is updated at least once every 12 months. Now here you can get to some advanced search tips. You can also search within this industry only through the search box if you want to. Now let's look at our main tools. Market research and trends is a good place to start. This is always a great introduction to the industry, roughly 1,000 to 2,000 words. Notice again, here's the date when it was last rewritten and updated. Over here, you can get citations easily if you're writing a thesis or doing some sort of research where you need to be able to cite. Also notice here, you can convert this page into a PDF, which you can print or download at your discretion. Now keep in mind, we're still in the chemicals and plastics industry, which we selected earlier. There's a link to a video about this industry. In here, you're going to find an overview of the chemicals industry, that is your selected industry. How big is it? What are the most important things we want you to know when you're first considering this industry? Notice that anything on this page that is in our glossary is linked to and shows up as blue. We don't assume that you know something. For instance, we don't assume you know what nanotechnology means. You can click over to the glossary if you want to and click right back to where you were. Also, you notice a little dialog box pops up with the definition. Now, let's click over to another trend we're analyzing. For instance, India is going through a lot of investment and development right now in the chemicals and plastics industry, so we want to analyze that. Notice here are more things that are showing up in the glossary. And that's just a brief overview of the market research part of our tools. Now, let's go to the Industry Research Center now we're going over to the next tool that's available, to the statistical tables for chemicals and plastics. Notice here's a drop-down list of the various tables that are available. You have your citations again, and you can PDF this page. And since it's a statistical table, you can also export it to Excel, so you'll be able to chart it or do analysis or calculations on the data. Now I'm going to go back to the Industry Research Center again. I want to point out you can use these breadcrumbs up here to move around, but I want you to get used to using this main Industry Research Center page, so I'm going to keep coming back to it. Now we've seen the market research and trends, and we've seen statistics, so let's learn how to look for companies and executives. There are lots of different criteria by which you can look for companies, including just a simple search box. You can go to your saved searches also if you want to, and you can use NAIC code as a criteria. So here are the NAICs we're using for the chemicals and plastics industry. You can also select companies by stock exchange if you want to. It goes deeper. You can select by state, country, even metropolitan area. 
You can take sales amount or select by employee count or even the name of an executive. Here I've got all the companies selected by default, but I can say that I only want non-US companies or maybe privately held companies or subsidiaries. So let's do a simple search. Let's say I want companies involved in fiber manufacturing. Notice in the results, I've got their sales, city, state, country, and the related NAIC code. I'm going to click over to Eastman Chemical Company so we can see what a company profile looks like. Notice I've got basic information about the company. I can click over to its website. I can see what year it was established, whether it's publicly held. Here's its stock exchange and ticker, the address, phone. I can even click over to a map from here. There's some really terrific data on this page. Notice I've got industry ranks. So here I can see the top 10 companies in the sector by various types of ranks, like Huntsman Corporation in the US, and also some Korean and Chinese companies. Now this is my total revenue, but what if I want employee count ranks? I can recalculate simply. What if I want to see all the industry ranks on one page? Here are your ranks for the industry. Now, what if I'm really enjoying looking at these ranks and I want to click over and look at another company? I can easily. See how that works? Let's look at Huntsman for a second. We have its ranks. We have executive leadership with names and titles. Let's look at this person. If it's a publicly held company, we've got biography on the executives. We've got what their pay level is, what their stock awards and grants are, and so forth. Notice here in the contact section, I can export all of these executives into a text file or an Excel file. Now here's a basic description of the company and what it's doing. Here's its NAIC code. Here are some top sectors in which it operates, chemicals manufacturing, performance chemicals, and so on. And now we've got its basic financial information. If it's a private company, we're likely to have some summary financial data. But if it's a public company, we're going to have a lot of financial details. Now let's go to one more industry. I'm just going to go to the energy and utilities industry. Notice that the layout of the Industry Research Center is exactly the same as you saw a minute ago in chemicals. Now let's have a look at the industry video. For every industry, there's a five to six minute introductory video. You can show this in a classroom or in a meeting. You can even watch it on a smartphone. A lot of people learn really well by watching video and we think this is a great tool. Let's go over to our phenomenal builder report tool. I'm still within the industry I've selected, in this case, energy. And I can build a custom briefing book, even a small textbook on the fly in just a few seconds for this industry. Here are all of the selections we can use. Next, here are all the trends we're covering for this industry. I can clear them, I can take them all, I can select just one or two depending on what I need. Same thing with the statistical tables. I can take the ones I want or take them all. I'm going to leave them all in for the moment. I could add a company profile or several if I wanted to. I can also include industry associations, and I can include a glossary if I want to. We've really got great options here. Now I've made the selections of what details I want in my report. I'm going to the I agree button here to say I'm not going to resell this and I'm going to use it for my own purposes or for allowed purposes under my license. Here's the date for which our industry information was last updated and rewritten, and the date on which we ran the report. Now let's go to one more industry. I'm going to select healthcare. While I'm here, if you look at this drop-down list, you'll see we're covering state-of-the-art leading edge industries that are just often so hard to find data on unless you can turn to Plunkett. Artificial intelligence, for instance, and the internet of things, even the sharing economy. Where else are you going to turn to find great statistics and trends analysis and company profiles on companies in a new industry like the sharing and gig economy. We have a really tremendous set of industries we cover and we do update that list on a frequent basis. So now I've gone to healthcare. Notice again, our industry research center has the same layout as all the others, all the same great tools. What I wanna show you is a tool we haven't covered yet and that's industry analytics. 
Notice I selected analytics from within the healthcare system, and here are all the NAIC codes that we have with some relationship to healthcare. Right now, I'm selecting drugstores and pharmacies from the industry list. Now, look at the data tools that are available within industry analytics. Let's start with this fabulous summary. Here it says Pharmacies and Drugstores US. Our industry analytics tool is only for US industries, and it's available on 500 different sectors, a phenomenal resource for you. On the summary, we have the latest year's revenues, employee count, latest year's revenue growth percent rate, historic growth rate, and even a forecast seven years forward. That's what we think the industry revenues are going to be over the future, as well as the average annual growth rate for the future. Really phenomenally important data for you. Notice we also give you the top 10 companies operating within the sector. You can click from here over to a company profile and then come back if you want to. Notice, for instance, we've got Walgreens and CVS. Here we have a chart on industry revenues and employee count. So again, it's really phenomenal high value data. Now let's click over to some more great information about this industry. Here we have employment and establishments counts. How many companies are operating in this industry and how many companies plus their main subsidiaries total. There's an eight year history, employee count, and the growth rate for employment on an annual basis. We even have a chart at the bottom for you. It's all really interesting, vital information. Now that, in a nutshell, is an overview of all the tremendous tools in Plunkett Research Online. It's a fabulous place to get an overview of an industry, learn what the most important industry trends are and have those trends analyzed for you, learn the industry statistics in great detail, build a tremendous executive summary or textbook, export lists of top companies and their executives, and even do a deep dive into industry-specific revenues, employment counts, and forecasts for several years forward with our incredible Plunkett's Industry Analytics Tool. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're going to love Plunkett Research Online.